Here's a poem on the love of a hypocrite. The love of a hypocrite. You speak of love with words so sweet, yet in your heart deceit runs deep. You paint a picture bright and true, but shadows lurk in every hue. You say you care, you say you're near, but your false love is laced with fear. You smile so wide, your eyes so bright, yet turn away in darkest night. Your promises like shifting sand, they slip right through my outstretched hand. You love when eyes are there to see, but in the dark you set me free. Your heart, a maze of twisted lies, your love a mask in thin disguise. For when the truth beneath is shown, I see you're empty, cold as stone. You loved me not, you loved yourself, a hypocrite with hidden wealth. Now I know, your love's a game, and only you can wear the blame. This poem reflects the duality of someone who pretends to love but is insincere at heart. Literary and Critical Analysis of the Love of a Hypocrite Theme Deception and Betrayal in Love The central theme of the poem revolves around deception in love, the love of a hypocrite who projects affection outwardly while hiding their true selfish nature. It delves into the emotional and psychological damage caused by such pretense, illustrating how love, when it is hypocritical, becomes manipulative and harmful. The poem serves as a commentary on false appearances, warning against those who use love as a facade to control or mislead others. Detailed Literary Analysis Tone and Mood the tone of the poem shifts from the initial bitterness and realization to a more resigned, cold recognition of betrayal. The speaker begins with a tone of sadness and disillusionment, then transitions into anger, and finally moves toward acceptance of the truth. The mood is melancholy, evoking the pain and sorrow that comes from discovering someone's insincerity. Imagery the poem uses visual imagery of shadows, darkness, and shifting sand to symbolize the insidious nature of the hypocrite's love. Lines such as, but shadows lurk in every hue, and your promises like shifting sand show how the love presented is unstable, fleeting, and ultimately an illusion. Darkness often symbolizes deception, while light represents truth, suggesting that the hypocrite can only perform under scrutiny but falters when the lights are off. Symbolism, mask. The hypocrite's love is symbolized as a mask, hiding their true intentions. The mask represents deception, showing one face to the world while concealing something darker underneath, shifting sand. This metaphor emphasizes the transient and unreliable nature of the hypocrite's promises. Just as sand slips through one's fingers, their affection is undependable and fleeting, cold as stone. This symbol speaks to the emotional emptiness and lack of true affection from the hypocrite, suggesting that they are void of empathy or genuine connection. Repetition and contrast. The poem uses repetition to highlight the duplicity of the hypocrite's behavior. The repeated contrast between light and dark, bright and true versus shadows, and eyes so bright versus darkest night, underlines the two-faced nature of the hypocrite. The use of antithesis heightens the tension between the hypocrite's outward actions and their inner deceit. Structure and form. The poem is structured with rhyming couplets, which creates a rhythmic, almost sing-song quality that contrasts with the dark subject matter. This contrast may emphasize the dual nature of the hypocrite, how their outward charm can mask deeper lies. The steady rhyme scheme may also represent the speaker's gradual realization of the truth about their lover. The poem's tone shifts gradually as the speaker moves from shock and realization. You speak of love with words so sweet, to anger and accusation, but your false love is laced with fear. Finally arriving at a tone of resignation, I see you're empty, cold as stone. This tonal shift mirrors the process of emotional recovery from a painful betrayal, moving from confusion to confrontation to eventual detachment. The first-person perspective allows for a deeply personal narrative, where the speaker reflects on their experience of being deceived by someone they loved. The direct address, you speak, you love, you smile, implicates the hypocrite in the actions, making the poem feel like a confrontation of sorts, a moment of revelation. 
This directness gives the poem emotional weight, as it feels like the speaker is coming to terms with their emotional hurt in real time. The poem critically engages with themes of duplicity and emotional manipulation, offering a harsh critique of those who feign love for personal gain. It can be viewed as a psychological exploration of toxic relationships, where one partner exploits the other's emotional vulnerability. The use of metaphor and symbolism serves to amplify the emotional resonance of the poem, turning abstract feelings of betrayal into vivid, tangible images, like shifting sand and cold as stone. Furthermore, the poem invites readers to reflect on the nature of genuine versus false affection, prompting questions about how easily love can be fabricated and how one can discern true emotional investment from self-serving actions. The hypocrite's love is shallow and manipulative, reducing love to a mere tool for self-gratification. This critique can be applied more broadly to societal issues such as performative morality or false virtue signaling, where individuals publicly perform acts of kindness, love or goodwill, but do so for personal gain, recognition or control rather than from a place of sincerity. This theme is especially relevant in an age where appearances, both in relationships and in society at large, often matter more than the substance behind them. The poem teaches a profound lesson about the dangers of trusting appearances, especially in love. Hypocritical love, though it may seem genuine on the surface, lacks the depth and sincerity needed for a healthy relationship. The poem highlights the need for discernment in love, understanding that not all who profess love truly mean it. From a broader perspective, it encourages readers to question not just romantic relationships, but also the motivations behind people's actions, whether in love, friendship, or social interactions. Hypocrisy is a destructive force that erodes trust and breeds disillusionment. Recognizing and avoiding such manipulation is essential for emotional well-being. Ultimately, the poem's exploration of emotional betrayal serves as a powerful reminder that love is not defined by outward gestures or empty promises, but by genuine, consistent actions rooted in truth. This literary and critical analysis emphasizes both the personal and universal aspects of the poem, making it relevant to readers' understanding of relationships and the nature of sincerity.